This is Doña Maria Catalina Urrutia. She was born in Cuba, but lived in Puerto Rico and was married to the most important man in the island, the governor, in the then colony of Puerto Rico in New Spain. And we'd like to think that in her palace in La Fortaleza in San Juan, she heard fandangos both danced and sung. And the fandango was an immensely popular genre that was uh, sung and danced at carnivals in the streets by peoples of all walks of life. As Ana de la Paz mentioned, the fandango was usually danced with castanets. Rupert and I are going to sing a fandango for you, as well as an Andalusian song called El Marabu, which Doña Catalina probably heard from sailors sailing from the south of Spain into the ports of the Caribbean. Doña Maria Catalina doesn't look very Spanish. With her both her hairdo, her adorned hat, her laces, and her corsage, all these things tell of her taste for the French style. She looks a little bit more like Marie Antoinette than anything else. She's also telling us without words that she believes in the very latest technology. She's got two watches on her waist, one on each side. Because of Doña Maria Catalina's taste for the French style, I've paired her with Clarines Suaves, a song by Jose Manuel Quiroz. This song has a minuet style, which is a dance 
from France. Castanets are wonderful instruments. They're associated with Spanish dances, but they have a long history that date back to ancient times. The castanets are used to give rhythmic complexity to an already rhythmic dance. And they're generally worn on the thumbs so that the fingers can be free to articulate. Although there are some castanets that are placed onto the middle fingers and your hand shakes to create that sound. So for these castanets, there are different ways of playing them. You can have the single sound, a golpe, which is both fingers striking the castanet, like this. You can have one at a time, un repique. You can have choque, which is crashing the castanet, and we can crash on the castanet, the other castanet, one, one against the other. Or you can crash on different parts of the body, like this. And then you can have the articulation of each of the fingers of the right hand and the left hand by itself. And that is called carretilla. And today I'll be accompanying Rupert in the Fandango by Luigi Boccherini. Boccherini was an Italian composer who lived most of his professional life in Spain. He was a royal musician, he was hired by the royal court, and then after leaving the court, he went and finished his career in Spain, composing some of his most famous works. We are gonna be playing the fandango. And a fandango was a dance craze in the 18th century. It was popular not only in Spain, but all over the Americas. It was a dance and a song of mestizaje, or a mixture of all these different cultures from Europe, from the Americas, and from Africa. And so the fandango was nurtured in port cities like Cadiz in Spain, and Havana in Cuba, and Veracruz from Mexico, and San Juan de Puerto Rico. <laughs> 